Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back into Kingdom Come Deliverance. So in the last video, we looked inside Scalit's castle. So yeah, that's what's inside Scalit's castle. And there's your answer. Bugger all. Now in that video, we were extremely limited. Not only by the fact that there was an invisible wall around Scalit's castle, but Nvidia Anzel's free cam could only go so far. In that video, I said that if I could get my hands on the modding tools, we may be able to get access to Freecam. And you may have noticed that my game currently has debug next to it. I'm just going to click this. Yep. No intro sequence. No nothing. This is Kingdom Come Deliverance as the developers would see it. These are basically the dev tools. So I put up a community post on YouTube asking what you wanted to see first. And a majority of you wanted to see the boundaries of Bohemia. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. But before that, I want to do one little thing. Your eyes do not deceive you. This is a fully working third person camera. Now I did have access to the dev builds last year. But of course, I wasn't allowed to make videos on it as I was under NDA. But now that the tools have been publicly released with the modding tools, I can show you this. This is something that blew my mind the first time I saw it, because as of right now, this third person camera is practically complete. And it does give me hope that we will be seeing third person in whatever sequel they end up making. But I just wanted to show you this because this really did blow my mind. And if you're wondering about combat, this fully works. As you guys can see, I can punch, I can hit, I can move around, and I can jump in the air, and I can do everything that Henry would generally do. Also, crouching looks pretty cool. There he is, just crouching down. I think the reason they probably didn't release this was because if you tilt the camera, you can obviously see the underneath of the world. So yeah, this definitely isn't release quality, but it does give me hope for the future. Now, what I'm going to do is hit F3, and you can see Henry's... <laughs> it's like that bit in Team America. So not only does this allow you to freely fly around, but also if I was to hit F3 again, Henry disappears. Now this basically means I can travel anywhere. There are now no longer any boundaries or limits. Because if you tried leaving Scalits before the prologue, you'd get killed by a stray arrow. But there are now no longer any limits. I will say, seeing the town from this height really does show how detailed and beautiful it is. I absolutely love looking at these places from the air. And Warhorse Studios did a fantastic job. Now I do want to apologize if you can hear any fan noise. I'm currently playing this on my laptop because for some reason this mod build runs better on my laptop than it does my main PC. And we are currently getting a fluid 60 FPS. All right, so I'm gonna fly up here and we're gonna go as high as we possibly can. I'm gonna hold down shift and we're gonna fly upwards here. And as you guys can see, we can see the map of the game. This is absolutely mind-blowing. As someone who loves to see the inner workings of video games, this is a dream come true. And now the game is completely out of development, I think it's okay to show this stuff. I think this really does show how amazing Warhorse were in just the design of their world, because this place is absolutely massive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head right down to the boundary of the world. So we're gonna fly down here. We've gotta give the game a little bit of leeway because it has to load everything back in. But as you guys can see, how beautiful these forests are. I mean, just look at this. It's absolutely bloody stunning. So this is possibly one of my favorite areas in the game. It's this absolutely beautiful river, and you can't walk that far before Henry starts going on about Sir Radzig. He's got some nice rain coming down here, and we're gonna go a little bit further. This is around the point where the game wouldn't allow you to go, but it's still detailed. They still have detail here. You've got this nice outcrop here of rock, and uh, also this little beach here, a little tiny pebble beach right here, it's very nice. And of course, you then start to notice that maybe things don't exactly look right. And that's because that is the boundary of the world. There's a YouTuber who I watch who explores the boundaries of Fallout New Vegas. Hey, this is Jeff, and you join me outside the world map in Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition. 
It'd be simple to explore out here on the PC version using cheats, but I'm playing on the Xbox to prove that despite what some people have said, it is possible to get out here without using cheats or mods. They do a very similar thing to this, but they do it on console, which blows my mind. So I'm going to be leaving a link in the description below because I really do believe that they deserve more viewers. But back to Bohemia, and I've got to say right now, it's kind of weird seeing underneath the boundary of the world. Now, I do want to show you something quite interesting here. If we were to travel up as far as we can go, I'm going to hold down shift again so we move that little bit faster, you will start to see a trend. Now that's the fact that this map is just repeated but mirrored. <laughs> you guys see that? You see there and then it's there? So they basically extended it out as far as they could. Now of course the level of detail here is not really very viable and you're never supposed to be able to see this anyway. But I absolutely love how this looks. It feels so weird. It's like entering Silent Hill or the Upside Down. So we're going to keep traveling along here. We're going to go all the way along here and see what we can find. I don't know if there's going to be anything in terms of locations on the edge of here, but uh, we could definitely see. Um, now, it ends right there. Now, it's weird seeing the literal edge of the world. Also, I'm going to turn my volume up on the game. Hear that? I'm assuming that there is a giant boundary box here which has audio cues. So they will start playing the sound of birdsong and as soon as you exit, it stops. Stuff like this absolutely bloody blows my mind and I absolutely love it. But you are never able to come here and the fact that this is all still incredibly detailed with small hills, also there's grass and there's bushes and trees perfectly placed, really does show the attention to detail that the devs went to here. There's even a log here, like no one's ever going to see that log. Game development has always fascinated me, it's something that I could never do, I have no idea how to even begin with game development but the work that game developers do is crazy and like also like look at this like why is that there like there's no need for this i mean you could literally have that completely empty oh okay so we have something here what is that hang on you can only see it from one side that's random <laughs> that's a bit weird i don't know what happened there Oh, oh, it's like it's been stretched downwards. I don't know what... Yeah, that's that's odd. It looks like a waterfall, but uh, it's blatantly not. Yeah, that's really weird. I don't know why that's like that. You can see that all the rivers in the game end, um, like just completely end. And then, of course, they just repeat themselves back round. You see that? So it's basically a complete mirror image. Okay, so I had to reload due to the fact it started bloody pissing it down so I wasn't able to see anything. I like that a lot of the rows just kind of end. <laughs> There's literally just cut off right there and you can't go any further than that. I don't even think you can go any further than probably around here because obviously in the background here you can see what looks like real forest but of course it's not it's just fake and i like how games do that because they they give you the impression of more being there than there actually is um but yeah you guys can see there that you wouldn't know i don't think that that wasn't real if you saw it from that distance right this may be spoilers to those of you who have not completed the game so stop right now come back after you completed the game. A lot of people talk about the ending of Kingdom Come Deliverance and this is the location of the epilogue. You come here as your final destination before riding off into the sunset with Hans Capon and a couple of guards. But of course you can travel back and do any quests that you haven't done including the amorous adventures of the bulls or hands. If you haven't done that already you can go and see Garolina. So yeah that is an option but you're probably wondering well kind of how far can we go here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk up here and we in theory should have Henry give his dialogue mm. this is certainly no time for roving so yeah this is as far as you can get um, this is the last thing that you see as you leave the game so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit F3 and F3 again and we're just gonna travel straight through it <laughs> okay now, an interesting thing that I've seen quite a few times is there's some random guy here. Now, I don't know who this is. Who are you? It kind of looks like Zbysheg. That's weird. Hang on. Could I land here? 
and go and talk to this guy. There's no interaction whatsoever. That's really weird. What do you think you're doing? I've a mind to call the guy. Grab him and knock him out and then maybe get a view on who this guy is. Hang on, let me put him down a second. This is kind of interesting because you don't really see this. Here we go. Um, who are you? So this is just a random wayfarer. How the hell did he get out so far? Uh, what's he got on him? Uh, some Groshen, okay. <laughs> well, that's something. Uh, yeah, this is kind of interesting. Like, why are there AI all the way out here? By the way, now we've broken this boundary, we can, uh, of course, walk. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep walking. There's this random pile of rubble here, which is interesting, I suppose. Uh, and here as well. Is that normally in the game? I don't remember seeing that random pile of rubble before. Um, okay. This looks like the end. Um, let's see where this goes. I'm just going to walk right off the edge, aren't I? <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? Uh, can we can we get a horse here? No, of course we don't have a horse right now. Um, can we step on here? Okay. Uh, could I? Oh. Oh, yeah, there you go. And that's not solid. Okay. I was thinking, is that solid or not? It definitely isn't. Oh! I'm guessing if you get to a certain point, it kills you. That's interesting. So yeah, that is our first look at the modding tools for Kingdom Come Deliverance. I can't wait to explore more of these places. I want to hear your suggestions. I already put a community post up and I've been noting down these interesting places to go. What I want to see in the comments is where you want me to go and I will make a list and we will travel to these places and see places that we wouldn't normally be able to see, including, of course, Scalit's Castle. Now, in that video we made, we weren't able to do this, but uh, as you guys can see, we can actually go all the way in here. Now, I tested something last night, and I want to show you as the final thing. We wondered where this doorway went. Also, that's kind of interesting, having it kind of just end there. That's weird. I suppose you would be able to walk under here. Also, can we stand on this? Is this something we can step? Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, we can definitely not step on that. Although, we can step on here. Right, can we go up here? Because there is a doorway. Oh, crap. Hang on. Could I? There you go. There's a doorway here, and we wondered where this led. Now, a lot of you commented saying that this was the tiny little prison that you get locked in in the small cutscene, the secret ending of Kingdom Come Deliverance. And as you guys can see, it's real. It's right here. Um, it is actually a physical location that's incredibly dark, but it is a real physical location in the game. I find that absolutely bloody fascinating. So, you can actually come out of there. So yeah, you were right, everyone who commented. I always assumed it was down the bottom of Scalets for some reason, but I was blatantly wrong. Yeah, this is incredible. And as someone who absolutely adores Kingdom Come Deliverance, it just opens up so many possibilities for some really amazing and interesting stuff that we can experience here. I do want to make it very known. I was heavily inspired by uh, Boundary Break, which is a brilliant series on YouTube. I highly recommend them. Link in the description below. Also, yes, as I said, go and check out that Fallout New Vegas YouTuber. They're absolutely brilliant and their videos don't get the love that they deserve. And I really want you guys to go and watch them because I think they're absolutely bloody amazing. In the next video, we're going to travel to some locations you're not supposed to go before the prologue finishes, and oh boy, there are some pretty interesting ones, and there are going to be things that are going to absolutely blow your mind. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, but until next time, that's Kingdom Come Deliverance out. Bye, guys.